So, so as I think I've said before, I'm doing this um, presentation work to try and retain my sanity because I've had an injury and the injury is very significant and um, I don't know what else to do with my life really. So this is one of the things I'm trying. So I want to talk now about dependencies and the type of dependencies I'm talking about the dependencies that lead to the creation of the universe because I don't think anyone can explain how the universe started and um, it obviously doesn't make sense how things came into existence um, and I was thinking as I said about dependency how one thing depends on another in order to exist so, for example, in order to have water, you need to have ground for the water to rest on. And um, in order to have life, for example, you need to have lots of things in place first before life can be possible. You need to have water, you need to have oxygen, you need to have food, you need to, you need to have shelter. Um, some sort of clothing. Um, there are so many, and obviously you need to have ground and a cave or something to provide shelter from the elements. And of course we have to wonder where clouds came from, where trees came from, and where the ground came from, etc. But the point is, it's hard to see how life could be possible because of the number of things that it depends on in order to exist. So, if all these other things have to be in place first, the question has to be, how could it be possible? How did these things come into place first to enable life to be created? I, I think it's fairly reasonable to suggests that life could be created incidentally or accidentally, just randomly. I think that's reasonable in some way. But um, what isn't so reasonable is to understand how the pre prerequisites for life came into place first. How did we get ground and water and oxygen and the sun and gravity and things to keep you comfortable and safe um, and food of course you know food and water it, it, none, none of it really makes sense and um, it's so frustrating that the answer to this can never be uncovered it's simply a very strange mystery of life. Now, of course, if you're religion, religious, you have a, an explanation. But if you don't have a, a religion, then you're very stuck. And I'm surprised that more people aren't aggravated by not knowing how we could possibly exist and how we developed and managed to grow. When all of these pre prerequisites have to be in place first, in, in order for life to develop is such a mystery.